Hi y'all, thanks for dropping by Design by Kathy. How is everyone doing? I hope everybody's doing good. Hope you're uh, healthy and things are going well for you uh, where whatever part of the world you may be in. So I appreciate you stopping by today for this video. Uh, this painting, this pouring, I'm gonna do a bottle bottom pour. Now try to say that three times real fast. But anyway, I'm going to do a bottle bottom pour and then going to do a reverse dip over it. So, uh, it, uh, it can come out really, really cool. I've chosen some colors that, um, I don't know, just wanted to play with. So, let's get right to pouring. So, I'm going to be pouring on this 12 by 12 canvas. I've got my little... Uh, bottle bottom which came off of was a coca-cola uh coca-cola bottle i'm going to be using yellow ochre this one is by montmart this is the my consistency it's just flowing flowing right off of the stir stick a nice steady stream and then falls down into the paint these are a lot more concentrated than some of your other uh acrylic paints so you can't really use the one to two ratio like I normally do you're you just gonna have to uh, kind of use your best judgment and I'm trying to get that off there I did add like a cap full of water I'm not a big fan of using a lot of water and I've got some videos showing and telling you why but that is my yellow ochre. This is uh, a master's touch. It says it's brown red. It looks very metallic. Ugh, it looks really pretty. So uh, I picked that color. This is a sap green. It's a nice pretty color. Uh, then I wanted, I didn't want white, but this is called parchment. So I have just a little, have some contrast going on there. And then, for the last contrast on the other end, this is called Real Brown. Just a little bit of this. So I've got my paint mixed, I've got my bottle top, and I'm going to be using a paper towel for, for my dip. So I've got that handy and ready. So let me move everything out of my way. Uh, I'm going to put a base, or for sure the outer part here, of the yellow ochre. It's got such a gorgeous golden tone to me. I love it. But I want to get that going all around the edges here. To do the bottle bottom or the uh, sink strainer, you want to try to have your canvas as as level, level, level as possible. You don't want any little play going along there because it'll it'll take off to one side. <laughs> Ask me how I know this. When I had to work out of my garage, you know, garages are not generally made level and I had a lot oh that was almost a disaster that would have been one for the blooper reel huh And the reason that I want this outer edge here is because once my, my pattern creates from the bottle bottom, I don't want it to go off the edges and take my, take my pattern completely with it. So I won't be tilting the, um, 
once I have that down. We won't be doing any more, any tilting of that. And I wanted these edges to be nice and pretty. To just a little more here, it's a little, little weak right there. So now I'm going to put my bottom, bottle, bottle, bottom, right here in the center-ish, I hope. And I'm going to start with just a little bit of the brown since it's going to be touching this first. This is a gorgeous color. Ooh, and I'm really liking it. Ah, oh, that was a big blob of something. No, okay, sorry. Gonna have to take that out. Needed a little extra stir on that one, apparently. All is well. I didn't put any of my green. Let's throw a little green in here. I may have to add that brown red to my list of favorite colors. I'm adding, I keep this, uh, this is Floetrol with 20% water. This one just seemed to be, because I, I mixed up so much more of the yellow ochre. Just needed a little bit more here. But I like to keep that um, on hand for quickies when you when it's not going <laughs> when it's not going the way you want. But that worked out that worked out good.
Oh, well, I tell you what, I hope that you have found pouring paint to be soothing and mesmerizing and relaxing as I do. I know that I've had a lot of people say that, you know, they've, they're just finding it really, really, really um, oh, it's kind of an outlet. Now, I know that some of you, and please feel free to ask your questions. I've had some about some frustrations, and I'm happy to answer anything that I know. Uh, because if you're frustrated with something, I can assure you, I've had that frustration too. And sometimes you watch something and it's like, oh my gosh, they make it look so easy. Well, you know, that's true. It looks easy because they've done it uh, who knows how many times. And say with me, and even the ones that I've done a lot uh, and had great success with, sometimes... Uh, the pouring fairies just decide that it's going to go a different way. But that's just the way it goes. But you know what? You're not stuck with it. You're not, uh, you know, you've got a lot of options. You keep working with it until you get it like you want, which is my favorite thing to do. Uh, or you scrape it and start over. Or you let it dry and pour over it. So there's a lot of options, you know, don't, don't give up. And don't, you know, like I said, I understand the frustrations Trust me, I've had mine. I've had days that I thought, oh, what am I doing here, people? But um, i tell you what, if you stick with it, the gratification eventually and ultimately will be way greater than the frustrations. Okay, I'm just trying to get this to get on over a little bit more here. Without doing any tilting. Don't want to tilt, don't want to tilt, and I am doing dripping. And sticking my arm in it. Oh, I don't think I want the green. It's just got that tiny bit, and I'm okay with that, but I don't think I want any more of the green. Sounded good at the time. But, you know, sometimes that's another thing. As you go along, it's your, it's your project. It's your painting. If you want to decide to take something out, take it out. little dollop here of the yellow ochre and we're gonna call it not really a day but we're gonna call it give that just a second to let the flow run on off of it Now, as you can see, that's starting to fill in there, which is what I want it to do. That's kind of cool. I mean, we're just watching that. Oops. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, now I'm gonna take my paper towel and we're gonna start up here. Yeah, well, that was a ratsy rats there, but here we go. We can do this. I think we can make this work. I'm going to start from corner. Well, I better start with this corner since it was an add-on corner. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's interesting. And there we have our bottle bottom. I'm going to be able to touch up where the paper towel kind of got a little heavy in my paint there. But look how gorgeous. Ah, pretty. And I, you know what? I'm glad I have that little dollop of green in there now. That actually, uh, I like that, just that little bit uh, popping through there. I like that actually. So that was actually okay. Those are what I call happy accidents, folks. But this turned out exactly like I was hoping. Uh, again, it's one of those things. It's trial and error. And I want you to have fun with it. And I want you to be, you know, to enjoy doing it. Because you know what? The, the best things in life that uh, if you enjoy doing it, then it's, it's all the more reason. And you're the one that needs to be pleased, not the rest of the world, not all of Facebook or not, you know, but anybody else. But uh, again, I do understand your frustrations because I've had them. So don't hesitate to ask me if you've uh, got some issue that you've had trouble with or want to see how to address. Um, just pop it down in the comments below. And hey, don't forget to check out the, the links down below. And... Uh, I thank you all for being here. Thank you subscribers so much. And if you're new to stopping by Design by Kathy, I hope that you will subscribe as well. Don't forget to ring the bell so you'll hear, uh, you'll know when new videos come up. And thank you for the thumbs up. You all have a wonderful and blessed day.